Tenetato Katoa, good evening. A remarkable story of bravery has emerged from last night's Waikato Westpac rescue helicopter crash in dense bush on Mount Pirongia. News Hub can reveal the helicopter went down just before reaching its female patient and the paramedic bush bashed the last 200 metres to get to her. Civil Aviation Authority investigators today put a large cordon around the scene high on Mount Pirongia, west of Tiaumutu. Karen Rutherford has the latest. Smashed, nose first, into native bush. This graphic picture shows just how lucky the three crew of Waikato's life-saving helicopter were to walk away with their own lives. Look, we are absolutely delighted that they've uh, survived this ordeal. This will be uh, a trying and stressful situation for them beyond this point, no question. The Kawasaki BK-117 was on its way to retrieve a female hiker with an injured shoulder on Mount Perongia when it went down around 5pm. Battered and shaken, it's now emerged the critical care paramedic engaged in a selfless act of bravery minutes later. After the crew had extracted themselves from the, uh, the stricken aircraft, the, um, the paramedic uh, did a check, uh, an immediate check, a uh, physical check of the other crew members, uh, then extracted his equipment uh, from the aircraft and uh, went in pursuit of the patient uh, some 200 metres away, so a fairly advanced piece of... Uh, and he had to bush bash his uh, way Bush through. bashing, exactly. Rescue choppers from Taranaki and Auckland rallied, picking up the female patient and the crew who were airlifted to hospital as a precautionary measure. We've uh, uh, wrapped the support around them necessary. They have been stood down from flight operations uh, in the meantime until we can... Uh, ascertain the, the correct pathway to return them to flight duties, uh, all in good time. Civil aviation investigators have been on site today. They've placed a one kilometre cordon around the helicopter, which is up near the Wharadoa lookout. CAA is describing the terrain as steep and dangerous and says the site contains evidence and potential hazards which sightseers must stay away from. The cause of the crash is now the subject of a transport accident investigation. Until that's complete, the wreckage and its secrets are under wraps, high on this iconic face. The nature of the cause of the uh, accident has to be left to the take investigators who arrive here this evening. The crash leaves Waikato with just a single BK-117 rescue helicopter. Crews in surrounding regions, though, are already offering backup, so locals in this region who do need help aren't left out in the cold until a new machine comes on stream. Well, Karen joins us now. Kia ora, Karen. What a remarkable story. But how long will locals there have to wait for a new rescue helicopter? Sam, hopefully not very long, the Waikato Westpac Rescue Helicopter Service was in the process of commissioning a new helicopter when this happened, and we can show you tonight that this is it, so it's not very far off. That's the good news. Last night's uh, rescue was an incredible one. It could have been catastrophic, and these are the most experienced paramedics, flight crew and pilots in the country. This is a region that performs uh, or has around 1,000 missions a year, so they are very, very busy individuals and they are at the top of their game. So it's a miracle they survived and just as good a news that we've got a new helicopter in this region coming on soon, very soon. Fantastic news all round. Karen, thanks so much for the update.